okay now what happen say if we want to match a special character from within a character class for example the caret sign dollar sign or the period dot or the opening square bracket or backslash which is also called a meta characters so the simplest way to match the special character is to escape them by simply adding the backslash before that character like this all right now let us move ahead character ranges generally follow the character order of the local here what i mean to say is let's look at this ascii character table as you can see if you use capital a to capital p as the range all is fine and the correct group of character is selected however if i change the range to go from capital a to lower case d the characters between the capital z in the lower case a are also selected obviously this is just a simple example but be careful when you define your character ranges in your regular expression using this character class another thing to be wary of is the order in which you give the characters to define a range again say for example if i define my range as 0 to 9 then then no problem as it is a valid range however if i define the ranges as 9 to 0 the behavior is not completely defined that means your regex is considered either invalid or it may happen that your regex engine might throws an error so be careful when you define the character order within the regex let's move ahead in some of the card games the joker is a wild card and used to represent any other playing card but with certain restriction same way in regular expression there is a concept of wild card which is represented by the dot meta character the dot will generally match anything like alphabetic or numeric character or white space punctuations and any other symbols except the new line character when using a dot within a character class it loses its special meaning and matches just a literal dot so here this a dot c matches only either a or dot or c but if i remove this character class then it matches abc or adc etc so using a dot within a character class as a wild card would be a kind of senseless anyways as it already matches everything all right so this is the end of part 1 of module 2 in the next part we will learn about the quantifiers meta character alternation sub pattern and grouping so stay tuned and see you in the next part